Hello, this is my new, well, newer LG range stove. It's approximately two years old, and you can see the issue that I'm having with it. The clock display is not displaying properly. I'm assuming it's bad solder connections on the clock, so I'm going to open it up, take a look, see if I can repair it. Okay, so I've got the stove pulled out from the wall now. I'm going to head back in behind here. First of all, I'm going to unplug it from the wall. We don't want any electrocutions here, so let's see if I can unplug it. Okay, so this is the back of my stove. Um, looks like I'm going to have to take some screws out here. So what have we got here? We have screws, screw. Okay, looks like... Okay, looks like I'm going to get the back off. This is all one piece. This is one piece. So I'm going to have to get in here and get these screws. These screws. All right, so let's get this back off. Okay, so let's get to work here. Let's get this back off. This looks like it's all one piece, but we'll, we'll see in a minute. Got a couple more down at the bottom here. And we only got to get one here. Okay, so we've got the back off. Now what I want to get to is the clock, which is in behind here. So it looks like there's some... Uh, it looks like we got some little tabs holding the circuit board in. Okay, we're gonna have to unplug some of this stuff here too as well. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to pop this carefully out of here. I'm gonna move these tabs back. All right. Without breaking anything, it looks pretty delicate. Carefully work the board out. Don't see any screws in it. All right. So I've got the board loose. There's my clock. Oh, 
let's unplug it. This is the plug for the clock. I've got the clock unplugged. Now it looks like I have two little tabs here to release the clock. Got a screwdriver. Trying to be very careful so I don't break anything. It's all plastic in here. It's being a little stubborn. So this is my clock, my LCD display, and I now have it out. So what I'm looking for is bad solder connections. But, as you can see, it's sealed up nice and tight here. I do not think I can get at the solder. Uh, well, it looks like I'm going to need a whole new piece. Because I can't get at any of this. I'm sure some of these aren't making proper connections on the chip for the clock. Okay, well, there's the uh, part number. So let's see if we can get a new part. It's been a couple weeks, and I've managed to locate a part. Now, I've been all over the internet trying to find a cheap part, which was impossible. So... This part cost me $120 Canadian, shipping and tax, which I think is kind of a lot of money. So, anyway, it took a couple weeks. I got it pretty much from LG. So, let's get it open and see what we got. Now, this is an updated clock. Part number is different. So, this is the old one. That's the part number on the old one. It ends in 2006. Now, from what they're telling me, this is the updated version, which has all the, all the same display. Now, this one, you'll see, is 2008. So maybe they did have problems with, with some solder connections, and they've updated it to this one. So this is the old one. Let's get on with the new one. Let's get it in and see what happens. Okay, board's back in. I've got everything plugged in. Well, should we try it or should we put the back on? Well, let's plug it in first and see what happens. Okay, so I've changed my mind because there is a lot of power here. I am going to put all the back back on because I do not want to plug it in with all these high voltage wires, 240 volts. 
So let's see if we can put it back together. Okay, so let's get this back plugged in again. I've got all my covers back on again. And the moment of truth. And there you go. It's all plugged back in. Clock is working just great. So it was a quick, easy fix. It cost me $120 and LG was willing to do absolutely nothing for me. So $120 is kind of a little overpriced and I did look around all over the internet so I believe I got the parts the reliable parts I think they're the main distributor for LG in Canada so thanks for watching I hope you can fix your own stove and I hope you can find a cheaper part so thanks have a good day all right so the stove is now fixed this here this is my uh, old part see my old part here and again here's the old part number it's now 2008 part but uh, what I plan on doing with this old one I haven't given up on this old piece I think I might uh, get out my heat gun and see if I can heat that chip up and all those solder connections and uh, see if I can get the solder to flow with just a heat gun I don't know if it's possible or not but Anyway, that's probably for another day, so that's it.